is Saturday morning. As you can see, I got a little sunburned. It looks much better than it did a few days ago. Um, but we went on a whale watching tour. We did not see any whales, but we got to be with like a pod of 300 dolphins, I think they said, which was just like so magical and really, really amazing. Um, but today I thought it would be a good day to do a vlog. And one thing I've been wanting to show you guys, which is like not art related, but I don't, I don't know, I'm going to show it to you guys, um, is how I take care of my orchid plant because, um, there are so many times I've heard people say, I can't keep orchids alive. They just, they lose all their flowers and then they're dead and I don't know what I did wrong. And you guys know I used to work at a flower shop for a long time, so orchids are something that I learned about. And I think that the main thing people don't know is that when the orchid loses its flowers, it's just going into a dormant phase. It has a phase where it blooms and then a phase where it like kind of like dies back, but it's still alive, so you have not killed your orchid. So I'm going to show you guys what I do with my orchid um, because sometimes those little tags they put on them about taking care of them, I don't think are quite right. But anyway, um, so yeah, yeah, we're in my kitchen. We're gonna water my orchid and then I'm gonna make some breakfast. Okay guys, so this is my orchid plant. Um, it's a Phalaenopsis orchid, which is the typical kind that you're gonna find here on the mainland. When I was in Hawaii, they sold all kinds, but um, the ones you'll see here usually are Phalaenopsis and Cymbidium orchids, which are like the ones with the really thick stem and the really rubbery looking big flowers. Um, I've never had one of those plants, but for the Phalaenopsis, a lot of the time when you get them, they say that you should put an ice cube once a week, I think. Um, on the roots. But if you think about it, this is a tropical plant. It's used to um, being watered by, you know, tropical rains, which are not going to be icy cold, and especially not ice on their direct roots. So I don't know that I've ever seen anyone hurt an orchid that way. I used to water mine that way, but if you think about where they are native to, which I believe is kind of the Indo-Pacific area, um, Northern Australia, Malaysia, um, that area, then, you know, putting ice on their roots really doesn't make sense. And, you know, really less effort to make an ice cube and then water your orchid or just water. So, um, anyway, it really doesn't matter. It's not that big of a deal, but, um, I just wanted to show you because it makes me really sad that people think they're killing their orchids and just throwing them away because they're really beautiful and, um, can be really rewarding when you do get them to bloom again. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my orchid and take it over to the sink. You're going to see my dirty kitchen. And I... Just put some water. You really don't want it to collect in the leaves. And just water it until it's running out. Sometimes um, when I worked at the flower shop, we would just completely submerge the pot in another pot of water. But I give them this a um, nice thorough soaking until it's running out the bottom. I do this once a week and my orchid is pretty happy. And I keep it on a little dish so it can drain and just do it once a week and I keep it in um, indirect sunlight. Now in the morning this does get kind of direct sunlight but throughout the day it's more indirect but bright which the orchid seems to like. So when your orchid dies, well not dies, when it goes dormant all the flowers will start like you know shriveling and dropping and you want to cut back your stem I believe to above this first node. I think that's what I was told her here. You could do it to that one. Um, and then something that looks like a root 
will come up. I don't have any to show you right now, but just imagine if this root had a thing that looked like a mitten on the end, like a little mitten green shaped ending to it. That is the new flower spike. So once you see one of those after you've been watering this without the you know flowers for a long time um, or a few months maybe, uh, then you'll see that once it's long enough, you can prop it up with a stick and eventually your orchid will bloom again. some emails. I ordered a birthday present for my niece, which took a while for me to choose, and um, talked to my mom on the phone for a bit. I ordered the uh, Hawaii bunny pins. They are fully funded, which reminds me I have to like officially mark them as that and send out that email, so it's something I have to do. Um, but right now I'm working on some sketches and just want to show you what I am doing. So um, I'm working on some book cover designs because that is the type of work I would like to also get to be doing along with children's book illustration. Um, A Little Princess is one of my favorite stories and I know this is kind of sad looking um, so I'm still kind of thinking about it but um, one of like the, the big part about the book is that she uses her imagination a lot and her memories of life in India to get herself through difficult circumstances. So I thought that it would be kind of neat to have her very like sad and huddled, but then maybe have her in just like the black and white, but then everything around her be like um, tropical jungle India with maybe some animals and stuff like she's just remembering. Um, so I don't know if that's too sad for a book cover, but that's what I'm playing around with. Um, and the other day, see I want to show this to you so so I worked on this Captain Hook um, so this is how he was and I wanted to see if digitally if I could do anything to make his expression a little bit more extreme um, so I added I added some line work and I also changed his expression to be that so I just kind of darkened some of the outlines and things. Um, I had some shadows on his face, but here I'll show you like the face flipping back and forth. So this is the new one. That's the old one. I think it definitely comes across more um, as very, very angry and scheming, brooding. So yeah, that is something I've been working on. Um, and also, working on, whoops, um, ideas for Peter Pan. Why is it doing this? Just let me scroll. There we go. Peter Pan book cover ideas. Um, this is just like a mock-up. I decided that I want a little bit more contrast to it. I'll probably sketch him a few more times. I do like this font though that I, the hand lettering I made. And I like the palm trees up here with a little bit of sky. So. Yeah, these are just some things I'm working on today. Um, and yes. So after going down a YouTube rabbit hole of just watching videos and feeling unmotivated, I just sent out my email letting everyone know that the pins have officially been funded. And um, I made a new graphic for them just so that doesn't say like pre-order anymore. And edit that all in my shop, let me show you. So now um, on the new thingy, I just put the Michael Scott bunny instead of the pins just to switch it up. Um, but if 
we go here, now it says Hawaii Bunny Pin Early August Shipping. And so you can still order it ahead of time if you want to go ahead and claim yours. Um, but they're no longer considered pre-order and they're not at the discounted price anymore. So that has been taken care of. The email got sent out. So now it is time for me to do my Patreon illustration, which this month is a sea lion. I will give you a quick peek. So that is the sketch. Um, I'll be posting the uh, finished product on my Instagram account, Sammy Clark Art. And yeah, so now I have to film this. Um, and then I'm going to do a workout and probably sketch on the couch while I watch a movie or something. Um, today is a different kind of day for me because it's um, occasionally my husband has to work like really really long days so it doesn't get home until evening which is why I had breakfast by myself did everything kind of in a weird way usually I'd be working from like 10 to 5 but um today it's just sporadically throughout the day so anyway I can't show you this process because that is exclusive content <laughs> this month's Patreon illustration on my iPad and I'm really really happy with how he turned out. So I hope you guys like him. Okay that's all for today guys. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time. If you liked this please like and subscribe for more. See you later. I'm